Fallout New Vegas is one of my all-time favorite video games. I really enjoy the Fallout universe and the lore surrounding it, the uh, post-apocalyptic paleo future. It's a very novel concept, and the game is uh, very good at taking advantage of its setting and expanding upon some of the uh, factions and such that were first introduced in the first two Fallout games. A lot of people consider it superior to Fallout 3, I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's neither here nor there. I want to talk today about the faction that I chose, uh, and why I chose it for the end of the game. Uh, actually, uh, in my first run, I did not choose the faction that I ultimately chose, but I'll talk about that in another video. Spoilers! Needless to say, the game's been out for six years, but spoilers nonetheless. I ultimately decided to go with Mr. House. Uh, that's an interesting choice. Most people tend not to go with him. Most people tend to go with the NCR or uh, the Yes Man ending, basically going it alone. I don't like the Yes Man ending for a couple of reasons. The Yes Man ending uh, basically has you as the head of Vegas, and I always saw the courier more as a uh, secondary hand rather than somebody who was going to take charge themselves. At least that's how I played my character. The Yes Man ending doesn't work for me because I don't think the courier, despite having good survival skills, necessarily has the ability to train a nation, as uh, Colonel Oliver says in the last part of the ending. The NCR ending, well, you know, the NCR is a good faction, don't get me wrong, but... But just because they've done a good job managing themselves in their own land doesn't necessarily mean they need to be in New Vegas. I think the people of New Vegas should be, uh, be able to drag themselves out of the post-apocalyptic muck by their own standards. And I don't think the NCR, this bureaucratic, imperialistic mess, is a very good way to do it. I think they should basically take care of their own house before they consider expanding into the Mojave. As for Caesar's Legion, well, it should go without saying. They're disgusting. Every time I played that game, I always took pleasure in freaking annihilating Caesar's base with that sun weapon. Uh, that was awesome. You remember that? The Archimedes, when you do Archimedes 2, if you choose to, and you can destroy the entire base. It's a great feeling. And I hate Caesar, and I hate Caesar's Legion. Thoroughly. And I always love shooting them up with Boone. And that brings me to Mr. House. Now, Mr. House is imperfect, don't get me wrong. He's autocratic, he thinks too highly of himself, and he has too much hubris. But of the factions, I think that he is the one who is best suited to rebuild the Mojave Wasteland. True, it won't be a democracy, but for the most part, as he himself said, he doesn't want to be a dictator. He just wants to transform the land into something better. And eventually, he says that he wants to go into the stars to bring humanity to a new age. Now, regardless of what happens, I think that his plans for the Mojave Wasteland are ultimately good. And I think his two centuries of experience and planning are a better plan than any of the three. Plus, I just can't stand killing him. Seeing him out of there, you know, seeing his two centuries of planning going to dust. I have a heart, I guess, and I identify with Mr. House, you know, a recluse with all of his plans about what he wants to do with the world. And as I said, they're mostly benevolent plans, so I have no problem with it. And that's why I chose Mr. House. And honestly, if I was the courier, if I lived in the New Vegas world, that would be who I would choose. Because Mr. House uh, rewards the courier handsomely, and you can be a good person, and you have relative freedom to do what you want. It's pretty, uh... It's a pretty good ending, if you ask me. Uh, better than Caesar's Legion ending, better than the NCR ending, and uh, better than whatever you can MacGyver up. I mean, come on. The Yes Man, if you envision your career as, like, this brilliant mastermind, might be a good ending. But Mr. House was the ending for me. He has the best plan for the future. And as his quest line said, the house always wins. Do you agree or disagree? Which faction did you choose in New Vegas? Andrew Walker out.